so this is from the uh, this is a uh, Institute for Family Studies. Now they are drawing this from census data. They're drawing this from uh, from other research as well. So it's kind of an ag. It's a, a meta meta search meta meta right. study. Okay. So uh, I mean, you could just look at this right here. You want you want stats here, stats for you right now. Okay, one partner versus say twenty one plus partners. I think find it interesting that they say, you know what, after twenty one, forget it. We're <laughs> we're not even going to keep stats for that anymore. Um, so we can look at this right here, and if you look at this as uh, also uh, this source that the Family Studies uh, Institute is taking this from is the General Survey Study, which, by the way, is the same study that we quote all the time when we talk about the decline in sex when it comes to men between the ages of 18 and 29. It's the same study that was drawn from. Okay, so this is this is you know CD, it's CDC, it's Census Bureau, uh, Statista, it's these guys as well. So if you're going to like attack me on, oh well, what, what about the source? You know. It's it's multiple sources. Yeah. So let's just the same thing, let's put is, that out there great, right yeah. right now. Okay. So if you look at this and you look at okay, what is marital satisfaction? Because in her uh, in her video she talks about like pair bonding. Okay. And we'll get to that point. Well, that's another kind of bullet point we have to to cover here. But I, we have to kind of bring up what is pair bonding first because what that is is it's a mis a a misnomer. It's a mistake in terms or using a a, a, a terminology that does not relate to the statistics and, and the principles and the ideas about you know male paternity or why is a woman's uh, sexual past important. This is one figure amongst four that we're going to talk about today. But if you look at like say one partner versus 21 partners, I, I don't think it's rocket science to figure this kind of stuff out. Okay. This is also, by the way, this is from 1989 to 2016. So this isn't just like, oh, they just picked this stuff up, uh, you know, 10 years ago. No, this is a, a very long term study that they've done. So we're going to look at some other other stats here as well. This is just marital satisfaction. What is marital satisfaction? Is that pair bonding? So is that happiness? What what constitutes marital satisfaction? And again, this is self-reported by women who are in those relationships. Right. So, or, so as we can see, so the blue line, just for the people out there that are watching it, so yes. they might not. So the blue line represents the women, women, women mm -hmm. and the yellow line represents men. the men. Mm -hmm. And you can see that um, six to ten partners is higher yeah. <laughs> for men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so there, there's a perfect and you guys can see the little star there in between. So as you guys can see, sexual experience benefits men to a degree while it hurts women from from a relationship standpoint mm -hmm. um and it's so it looks like six to ten partners seems to be the, the magic number as far as when when uh yeah, the drop off like we, weren't we asked women. about that like what's the yeah. what's yeah, the magic, what's the magic number? number yeah okay well, well. Show, girls always ask, what's that number that makes me a hoe five for body <laughs> <laughs> six so, and you're pushing this yeah so okay so five, okay mm -hmm. so um so it looks to be four and below if i'm not mistaken seems to be the the, mm -hmm. the best yes Okay. All right. So well, that's, 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 that's real here. Okay. So that but, oh, go ahead. yeah, girls won't qualify for that. Some, some girls get four dudes <laughs> in a day. If I'm gonna be well, honest, we have to, you have to oh, also. Shit. And by the way, uh, the uh, what is it? The Institute for Family Studies is actually a pretty good resource, I think, for red pill stuff, like for red pill understanding. Now, a lot of people say, well, they're kind of like the trad con or whatever. Eh, not, yes and no, but a lot. I think that the 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 sources, the research that they cite for their articles. If you look past the, those articles and you go look at the actual research, then you go, oh, OK, now I understand what they're saying. So you can sort of pick that. Most people don't have the the, uh, the I don't know, the interest or the patience, to actually. Maybe I'm stupid to do it, but like I, I this is what I take interest in. So I'll go and I'll watch. I'll check out the research that the aggregate sites are, are so, using as well. So if someone is looking at this and wants like, a, a you know, a, a, I guess a summary from 50,000 feet, it is mm -hmm. once a woman hits about uh, it looks like six partners or above. It, yeah. starts, it starts to drop off quite a bit mm -hmm. as can far we, as like satisfaction in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. So let's, uh, can we get to the, that's uh, a takeaway for y'all. Can we guys. get to the IFS yes. uh, link? Uh, it's a right green now? chart, right? Yeah. Well, it's, you can go to those charts as well. There's uh, I think I gave it to you. It's IFS studies. Uh, okay. That's org. in the telegram chat, Chris. Yep. Got it. Okay. okay. Yeah, the IFS studies is is pro because that's where they're drawing this data from. Yeah, because I think is... I think people will say, well, they're just using one data point. No, there are like Multiple. dozens yep. of data points. And this is what this. these uh, TikTokers are not going to tell you guys. They're yes. Not say yeah. Because... You're not going to get this in a 30 second video. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. in in between each even <laughs> line. <laughs> that, is this okay. it right here. So that's you know, the, this is and the data set. That's fine. You can you can show that one out too. Um, no, so, we can do the other one if you want. No, I, I got the site, but with this, okay. let's go with this. this. We'll good? start okay. with this right Women here. Women who have okay. more non-marital sexual partners are less likely to have stable marriages. Right. Here's so, right here. again, marital satisfaction, marital marriage stability. Okay. What does that mean? Is that pair bonding? 
I ask again, is that pair bonding? <laughs> if it's not, then we need to move on. We need to define the terms of what we think is pair bonding, what we don't. I'm going to, I'm going to destroy that here in just a moment, but okay. we need to look at the Chat, data let me, first. Let, let us know. Okay. So, um, so Rolo for someone mm -hmm. that, and Chris, can we enlarge it a little bit if we can? Yeah. Might um, need to scroll down a little bit so they can see the, like where it comes from. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, source CDC. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can read it real quick. Uh, it goes, the title is, um, go up to the top real quick, Chris. It goes, women who have uh, more non-martial sexual partners are less likely to have stable marriages. Okay, let's scroll down there, and I'll read the part, and then we'll look at, we'll interpret the graphs. So this chart covers sexually active women over the age of 30. Women were defined as having a stable marriage if they were currently married and had been in that same marriage for at least five years. Women who had more non-martial sex partners, no, marital, marital, sorry, <laughs> marital sex partners were less likely to yeah, have stable marriages. Over 80% of the women who had never had a non-marital uh, partner were in stable marriages. By contrast, only 30% of the women with five non-marital sex partners were in stable marriages. So uh, according to this one, it could be even less than six. So <laughs> I, I again, mean, I ask, yeah. what is pair bonding? Is it stable marriages? Is that what it is? Because I want to know. I want, like Somebody tell me what is quote unquote pair bonding, because again, it's one of these abstract terms yeah. that we throw around. And maybe even maybe maybe the red pills to blame about that. Maybe yeah. I've, I've never used pair bonding because I shy away from that because when I read a book like Promiscuity by Dr. Tim Burkhead, I know the scientific definition of what pair bonding is. Like when two like swans are on the lake and they pair bond for life, right? Or yeah. it's like some you know species of field mouse that stays together for life. Okay, that we can we can say that's monogamous pair bonding for life. Got it. Thank yeah. you very much. But, do human beings do that? No, but we do get married. Yeah, we have we do have long term commitments, which supposed to be for a lifetime. Uh, is that pair bonding? You tell me, because uh, apparently we're trying to define terms. And again, can't really do that in a 30 second video between. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. And the thing also is that I think um, people, need, uh, you know, here on this side of the Internet, we understand that pretty much pair bonding is like a like, how do you say it? it it's a placeholder term mm -hmm. to, you know, to, for people to to people to know. I don't use that, it. I honestly I don't use it. I would much rather use uh, marital satisfaction. Right. Or yeah. happiness. We, we might have to transition from that, too, because people get confused. But mm -hmm. when people use pair bonding in, in this side of the Internet, nine oh, out of ten got, times, it means got a, marital I'm, satisfaction. Is what we'll we'll take on pair Being bonding here with a man in a monogamous relationship mm -hmm. and not fuck it up, essentially, right. from the female perspective. Uh, let's move on to the next one. I've got like, is there any, but just real quick for the uh, people so they sure, can interpret sure. this graph. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you scroll up real quick? Uh, 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 one second. Open it back up Um. so so that people can kind of like understand like the the numbers and the heights and everything else like that. Yeah, no problem. They can read it. All right. Uh, okay. So, Rolo, can you tell the people real fast, like how? Uh... Well, okay. So this is you got to look at this in terms of of the other four that I'm we're going to look at as okay. well. However, I will say this right now. So this is reports of marital stability. Okay, okay. marital happiness, marital satisfaction, meaning like I'm glad I'm in this marriage kind of thing. Yeah. Um. And so the more partners a woman has. Mm -hmm the less satisfaction she reports. Yeah. And this has been going on, like I think this one started in 1995 and we're going all the way up to, uh, to 2022 or uh, 2020, I think. Um, so when we look at zero partners, I mean, it kind of stands to reason if you don't know any better, you know, you don't know what you're getting, you're, you're probably pretty happy, right? It's yeah. ignorance is bliss. You've never had, the only, the benchmark for your sexual experience is the guy you married. Okay, you so. can't miss what you never had. Yeah. Exactly. So, so look problem, at that, dude. 80.47 mm -hmm. was zero partners. So if you have if you marry a virgin, mm -hmm. you know, now, you, now, I mean, now, <laughs> now here's other, here's the kicker though. How many women in let's just say Western, you know, industrialized nations, societies have zero partners? Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. How that's, many? Well, yeah, the, zero. The girl from last night, actually. Well, <laughs> The black girl yeah, time. bro. She's still in the, in the car saying, "Oh, I'm a virgin." I'm like, bro, no, you're not. Bro, yeah. like, but yeah. but here's that was Chat. advocate though. They're gonna say, "Rolo, Myron, Fresh, hold on a minute. If I have experience with different partners, that means I know how to choose the right one, though. Because mm -hmm. if I have no experience, then I don't know." Yeah. So what's your take to that devil's advocate? Just well, saying? I mean, and that, that goes back to, again, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Like you're, we're presuming that men and women are equal. So a man who has had a lot of sexual partners tends to be the kind of man that other men want to be and other women want to have sex with. I think it was Sterling Cooper who said, if you know your way around a woman's body, there's no higher demonstration of higher value Next. than knowing that, you know, how to please a woman. Well, how do you know how to please a woman? Because other women have rewarded you with sex. You've been high value enough for them to want to, to get with. Yeah. And so therefore that makes confidence, that makes experience. And so a guy who has had 
more sex partners tends to be somebody who is a little bit more, uh, let's just say worldly, I guess, and knows his way around a woman's body. Okay. Now, should that be like the benchmark and the, 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 uh, the metric by which we measure that guy's, you know, self-worth? Well, it's certainly one of them, certainly part of all of that. But I think that people think that we, when we talk about this, that's all we're focusing on. Well, if you don't know, if you're not getting laid, then you're not a man, right? Well, yeah, but that's part of a greater whole. So when I say, you know, women want to be with the man who other men want to be and other women want to bang. OK, so the part where we're talking about other men want to be. Yeah, you've got to have your shit together. You've got to have, you know, interests. You've got to be intelligent. You've got to be on top of your game money wise, money, muscles, game. Right. Frame. Right. That whole frame side of that thing. That's the that's the whole package. And part of that package is knowing how to deal with women, knowing women's nature, knowing how to you know, be in a sexual relationship with them, knowing how to go from from attraction all the way to, you know, intimacy with her in bed. Right. That's I mean, part of that 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 collected whole. And look, look, at the, look at this. The, the scary part is like, look at how it drops off precipitously after zero. Like it just yeah. like it goes down mm -hmm. and down and down and right. you know and we're up to twenty one plus you got a twenty percent chance mm -hmm. like god damn bro. you know I didn't I did not put this uh, I didn't say this on last Sunday and I meant to is that yeah you look at that right there and that's after one previous lover yeah okay so you you had one guy and then you married her right yeah. now guys will say this all the time well I don't want to get with a girl who's run through I don't want a girl who has a ten body count I don't want to we you guys ask the real girls quick, on here bro, all the time I would argue that. Most women in today's day and age, what do you think the average is? What do you think? Yeah, the that's what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. By the time a girl's 25, I would argue they're somewhere in that six to ten all the way up to 21 plus range. 